What's up everybody, I'm Zach. Welcome back to Aerial Assault. And today we're gonna to be talking about the newest product from Trophy Line, the Wingman Stick Platform. All right, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the newest stick platform from Trophy Line called the Wingman. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the basics a little bit. This is about a uh, 17 to 18 inch step, if you conclude this knob, I think it's a little over 17 inches. And then step height is about 15 inches from the top double step. As you can see on the bottom, it's got the new double step here. The platform size is about 12 inches wide by eight inches deep from the tree. Plus all of that is in front of your standoff. So it kind of, it feels just a little bit bigger than that on the tree because you have this gap. I think a lot of people are gonna find this as a great option, especially to buy as a ready one stick uh, that's available all the time. You know, there's not gonna be much weight for this. Uh, you'll have to pull this button off and add a cam cleat and an aider. But other than that, I think it's gonna be a really solid option. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a little bit of a radius to it, almost like some other options out there. The one difference here would be, in my opinion, is even though it show, you can see on the side here, it looks like it's a pretty hard slant. When you're looking at it from this top angle, it almost kind of rolls into that slant. So it feels pretty good up under the foot and it doesn't make me feel like when I'm moving my stick to one stick, and I'm standing straight up on this, it doesn't make me feel like, or when I'm moving my tether to one stick, it doesn't make me feel like I'm falling backwards all the time. I can stand up pretty flat on this uh, pretty easily. But today I'm not gonna show you how I would one stick with this or anything. Uh, we'll just act like it's just a basic stick platform. I think a lot of people will actually just buy this along with the set of sticks for that, that reason, you know, have this as their fourth stick with three mini sticks and eighters. But anyway, let's throw it on the tree, see how it performs and see what I think about it and hopefully give you guys an idea if it's something that you would want or not. Okay, you can see if I was one sticking, uh, this is how I would stand to move my tether. Uh, so I like to have a lot of surface area up under my feet. Uh, it does have a little bit of a slant to it, but it's not so much that I feel like I'm falling away from the tree. Um, this is on a basketball sized tree. If it was bigger and I could only get my toes into the tree and couldn't wrap my feet at all, uh, you can still see I'd have more than half my foot back there, which is plenty to be able to stand here without falling backwards. And let's talk about that slant just a little bit more. As you can see, it's very comfortable whenever I'm actually leaning with the tree or leaning into the saddle. Uh, it's not a super hard slant to where my feet are too slanted or anything um, and it's a nice smooth curved radius it, I mean like it doesn't feel like a hard edge up under my foot and I really like that about it um, the standoffs bite really good although they do turn a little bit so like if you're on a knot or something that standoff will kind of turn uh, I've not had an issue with that yet I'm kind of wondering if that might eventually lead to an issue you know when I'm using it as my platform itself Will that standoff not being completely square to the tree and it kind of being turned will that allow a different leverage on the tube? Uh, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Also, like you can see, I'm sitting here jumping on this thing and I'll show you several different angles of me on this as well. So you'll be able to see, I mean, there is a slight bit of flex. I'm not sure if it's in the standoff or if it's in the tubing itself. But man, this thing, like, I don't feel it at all. Like, I mean, it feels super sturdy up under my feet. Uh, if I wanted to make a move and shoot all the way to my weak side, uh, like this, I mean, I don't feel like the stick is giving or moving whatsoever. Same if I'm going to this side. I mean, it feels absolutely sturdy. The um, platform and not the strap, I think weighs about 3.3 seven pounds so right under 3.4 pounds and you probably add the strap i mean you're talking three and a half pounds for the whole thing um i mean that's pretty solid considering if it was just your fourth stick uh as just a one stick that's a pretty good weight too although there is something that 
I'm slightly concerned about it being a one stick other than you having to add the cam cleat. Uh, there's one other thing I kind of want to show you and I don't think it's a huge issue, but it's something that you need to make note of. Okay, as I mentioned several times, if you're going to use this on one stick, you're probably going to change this out for a cam cleat. But the other thing is, is these little hooks on the end of the step uh, really helps keep a backwoods mobile gear aider on there uh, like I like to use and I'll show you that now. So if you get these uh, ones with ears from backwoods mobile gear and put that on there, throw a little piece of tape on it and it'll stay pretty good and never come off. And the only reason the tape will be there is for transport because when you're climbing it, I mean it hooks in there pretty well. Anyways, let's throw this thing on the tree and I'll show you um, what is something if you're going to use this as a one stick that you'll probably have to work around because of the standoff size. So now that we got this set up for one stick and with a three step backwoods aider, I'll kind of show you what I was slightly worried about. And it, I'm not worried about it because I've climbed with many different sticks and I have really good body control, I feel like, when I'm climbing on aiders. But this is something that other people may need to keep in mind. With this shorter standoff, which is not a huge issue when you're using it as just a stick, it's actually quite comfortable. But what it does is it puts your aider very close to the tree. So one thing that you'll need to keep in mind is when you put your first step in the aider, so if you were putting your first step in down at the bottom of the tree, you would need to bury your foot really far into the aider so that you can get the top step of this farther from the tree. So your second step will be a little less farther into the aider, and then your third step will have plenty of room. And I'll show you that now. So your second step would be going in here about half of my foot and then when my third step got up i would still have enough foot in there to be able to grip and lock into the tree if i didn't do that because of the distance of this aider when i stepped into this if i stepped into it normal let's just step in the second one if i stepped into it normal when i got here i would only have about the ball of my foot in there and that's perfect scenario there's a knot in the tree or anything else, then I'd end up with my foot in my aider like that. That's not a huge problem for me. Um, I can do that, but I much prefer, even for myself, to have at least half of my foot or close to half of my foot inside that aider. Okay, and another thing people are gonna worry about or wonder about, you know, do you bust your shins on this thing when you're climbing to one stick? So you're gonna be climbing on top of that platform several times throughout your climb and some people even stand on their bottom step a majority of their climb when they're moving their tether so let's check it out and see it's so wide that i can't um i guess keep my leg like this and put my other up there so if I stand with the balls of my feet on the step, like I am here, uh, I have about an inch worth of clearance. So I have a 10 and a half size shoe. Uh, I got the little bit past the ball of my feet on my shoe, and I got just a little bit of clearance here. Now, if you're one of those people that you feel like you have to have the center of your foot on that step while you're standing on it, or you spend a lot of time on it, it may be a shin uh, busting area. Uh, me personally, all I'll do is step here, and then after I step here, I will actually sit down on this step, uh, and it makes it pretty comfortable, and then I'll move my tether, and then once moving my tether, I will step here. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the new Wingman from Trophy Line. Uh, hopefully this video will give you a little bit of insight about the size and maybe some comparisons to some other sticks. You've seen me some review, review some other things in the past. So uh, I'm just going to say I really like this stick. I will definitely be keeping it. I'll probably be selling another stick soon. I'm not sure which one that'll be. Uh, I like to keep a couple sticks, one with the stand set up and one with my saddle set up. But this will be one that I definitely keep. I really like it so far. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video whenever I add the cam cleat on there. But anyways, if you don't mind, please go below, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.